Hello, I'm Shashan Mishra representing as a host as, with a renowned senior advocate of Supreme Court of India, Subodh Markande ji. The incentive of this channel to share the experience of senior counsel on various legal issues that are happening in India, political history, and explaining various statute law. The topic of this session is internet shutdown and legal implication. My question is the Supreme Court of India on 9 September 2022 issued notice to the Union of India after adding it as a respondent number 5 in red petition number 314 of 2022, Software Freedom Law Center India versus State of Anvancha Pradesh. A little baffling, kindly explain in some details, sir. That is because main source of law is the Indian Telegraph Act 1885, under which uh, rules, you know, called the temporary suspension of telecom services, public emergency and public safety rules. Uh, 2017, we'll call them 2017 rules. They have been framed. It seems that in this case, the disruption in the internet service was resorted to for preventing copying and mail practices at the public examinations in which a large number of candidates appear. So this is not correct thing to do. Uh, public emergency and public safety are different concepts altogether. The court wanted to know whether there is any protocol for suspension of internet service for such a purpose. A question which only central government can answer. Uh, the Indian Telegraph Act and 2017 rules are after all the central laws. So internet service is absolutely vital for our day-to-day -day life. Let us take stock of impact of its shutdown. Yes, very pertinent. Without internet, you and I would not have been shooting this episode. Yes, sir. But let's in a lighter vein. More seriously, the impact of shutdown is indeed very far-reaching. We would not be receiving our our uh, vaccine jabs during pandemic, all banking, supply chain, financial, financial, commerce, industry, all depend upon internet. Transportation also heavily relies on internet. Now even justice delivery system and legal industry cannot function without internet. Throughout the pandemic, we have been appearing in virtual mode. Health services, education, uh, all are dependent on internet. Therefore, any disruption in the internet service will have adverse and you know, direct, immediate and far-reaching consequences on the majority of the citizens. So a lot of case law must have developed on this subject. Can you explain some of them? Yes, some case law has developed. A very pioneering case uh, was decided by the High Court of uh, Kerala uh, in Fahin Sharin versus State of Kerala. So by its judgment dated 19th of September 2019, in requisition number 19716 of 2019. It was a huge batch. The girls went to the Kerala High Court. What happened there was that uh, the, uh, the hostel authorities uh, uh, told them to deposit their respective mobile phones with the warden because there were some complaints from parents. So uh, that order was challenged by the, all those college girls. So the uh, Kerala High Court held <clears throat> that the right to information is a fundamental right. And any forcible seizure of mobile phones by the college authorities from the students is violative of Article 19. Uh, it further held that it's also invasion of privacy of the students, thereby violating Article 21 also. Uh, so 
that's the case which is very important it was a learned single judge who gave this judgment uh, i don't think any any party came to supreme court because it was a very balanced and well well considered judgment but there is a supreme court case called anuradha bhasin versus union of india writ petition number 1031 of 2019 that was also a huge batch it was decided on 10th of january 2020 by the bench presided over by the then chief justice uh, chief justice of india and ramana and b ramana at uh, there the supreme court held that suspension of internet must be proportionate to the gravity of the situation and other safeguards already laid down by the supreme court in earlier judgments must also be followed so what are these uh, safeguards the safeguards are as follows the competent authority to issue an order to suspend the internet services must be the secretary in the ministry of home affairs but secondly if not confirmed by the a uh, competent authority within 24 hours the order shall cease to be operative the third safeguard is that clear reasons for shutdown need to be given then the order suspending service must be forwarded to a review committee by next working day and uh, the review committee must confirm the shutdown order but that just can't be simply a formality it must be uh it must indicate all the reasons and it must show that there was application of mind so this is all i can say about this topic yes it was enough to inform us all about the internet shutdown thank you sir for me and we will be seeing you in the next video thank you shashank yes, sir